Hello there, my name is Ilan Adler. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of AutoCharters.com. I'm going to be showing you how I use AutoCharters to place a trade on the market. So what I've got in front of me open is my MetaTrader and I simply drag and drop the AutoCharters web application onto any chart window in order to launch the um, AutoCharters web application and what it'll, what that will allow me to do is that it will allow me to screen the markets for opportunities before I actually analyze individual shares. So I'm going to give that a moment to start up while AutoCharts connects and make sure I have a valid username and password. That just takes uh, about uh, 20 or 30 seconds. So here we are in front of me I have um, the AutoCharts application that's come up which allows me to screen the markets for opportunities and uh, what I have in front of me, the default screen, is uh, a list of opportunities on the FX market which is actually um, from the latest patterns that have been identified to the oldest patterns that have been identified. What I like to do is I like to trade completed chart patterns, the uh, breakout and approaching key levels. So I uncheck everything else and just keep those three on. What I do next is uh, uh, I don't like to look at these opportunities in time order. I actually, actually like to look at them in order of uh, the actual instruments. I click on the a symbol title of this column to order everything by the instrument. As you can see, all the instruments are, are grouped together now. Okay. Um, so, for example, this is uh, uh, two opportunities on ORD NZD here. These are two opportunities or three opportunities on uh, um, or USD and what I'm looking for are really correlating signals uh, so I re typically don't look at uh, single opportunities like CAD JPY on its own so uh, what I try to do is I try to uh, really uh, skim this list with my eye to see if I get any uh, opportunities on uh, certain instruments across different time frames. So for example, okay, this is an interesting which I would normally look at is Euro Canadian dollar. That's an opportunity on 60 minutes, bullish pattern. Another opportunity pointing to a similar level on the four hour Euro Canadian dollar. And a very short term opportunity identified on 15 minute patterns for Euro Canadian dollar. So this is uh, quite interesting in fact and um, and I'm seeing other indicators as well. For example I'm seeing Euro, Australian dollar again an indication of uh, the strengthening of the Euro. I'm looking at Euro British pound. Watercharts thinks that Euro is going to be strengthening against the British pound as well. So I find these kind of opportunities uh, quite interesting. So what I do now is I go look at my performance stats and I go check on what is the historical performance stat of um, patterns identified on Euro Canadian dollar by auto chartist. So I click on performance stats. Right, so I've uh, clicked on performance stats and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at how we've done on Euro Canadian dollar in the past. So I'm primarily looking at the uh, breakout uh, oh, the key levels sorry so um, I'm looking at uh, euro uh, Canadian dollar let's have a look see where that is okay that's over here euro Canadian dollar so on average about a 77 percent hit rate to hit the level which is pretty good and if it does break through the level I want to see what my um, performance stats could be uh, euro Canadian dollar at uh, 75 percent. Okay, so if it uh, if it's approaching, it's about 75 percent hit rate to get to our to the level of the forecast, and about 77 if it breaks through. Just out of interest, let's have a look at what the stats are for the chart patterns. So uh, Euro Canadian dollar. Oh, here it is. Okay, so that's about 69 percent, which is not too bad. 
um, but we identified uh, key levels here. So these are all key levels, and you can see that by these little uh, parallel stripes over here. So this is quite an interesting trade, and what I'm going to do is I uh, I have decided that I am actually going to trade this. So I'm going to switch to my to my MetaTrader, and I'm going to bring up a Euro Canadian dollar chart. Let me find that over here. New chart window. Okay. And what I like to do is I actually like to remove the grid lines because it uh, I feel that it uh, really disturbs me and too many lines for me. And I can clearly see the level that Auto Charters has identified. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop the key levels uh, indicator on there directly. Uh, to see what order charts actually says. Now what I like to do is I like to uh, show the emerging patterns and I click OK. <coughs> I'm going to give uh, uh, the indicator a moment to to connect to the order chart servers and actually download the appropriate information for me. Okay and there you can clearly see that order charts identified this line over here which is a bright bright green line so AutoCharts believes it's going to go up to that level so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in there and quickly see what's going on okay so it's not a not a big movement that we're expecting but certainly you know if it does make it there's uh, some money to be made so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place this trade <coughs> I'm going to uh, click on new order and I'm going to buy some euro canadian dollar and there is the and uh, there is the order um, let me quickly open up my uh, terminal window uh, to see my latest trade okay so here's my latest trade and now what i must do is i must actually set a uh, take profit or a, or a stop loss level. Okay, uh, so um, to do that, I'm actually going to use the Power Stats tool. <coughs> so I'm going to take Power Stats and I'm going to drop it on to my chart, <coughs> and I'm going to give Auto Charts a moment to go and uh, connect to the <coughs> Power Stats tool that we've got, and so that uh, Auto Charts can tell me where to expect uh, these different levels. So, as we can see, Auto Charts tell me that actually um, EuroCAD's got quite a big spread, so we're quite a bit out of the money right now. Uh, but potentially, the take profit level is going to hit within the next four hours. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my take profit and stop loss at around uh, this level over here. Uh, that's going to be my take profit and my stop loss. I'm going to set it uh, for around over here. So, I can see my uh, my take profit is going to be sitting at around uh, 129.26 and my stop loss at 129. Uh, this is actually quite interesting that uh, my stop loss is actually at 129 uh, because obviously um, as you all know the market team seems to go towards round numbers. This is quite an interesting selection for stop loss. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I'm going to go modify order, I'm going to set my a stop loss to be 129 and then my take profit to be 129.26 uh, and I'm going to modify my order and uh, if all goes according to plan once I remove these lines I should have some some lines in there to be my stop loss and take profit okay good and um, and now uh, that's as easy as it is this is the way I use order charts to place a trade Okay, so there we have it. We've uh, taken profit, and I guess this concludes my demonstration of how to use auto charters.